The second thing that Adobe is really focused on is thinking about ease of development. And I said earlier that enabling these type of experiences today is just not easy. Clearly at Adobe, we've had a long history of trying to provide tools with the idea of democratizing content so that every one of us can be a publisher and create content for this new emerging digital world. And we've done this by establishing a set of tools that enables you to do what we call network publishing, create content for print, for web, for video, and increasingly for wireless. And that's through the Adobe Creative Suite, which allows somebody who's a content creator to very quickly take content that was intent intended for either print or web and repurpose that for mobile devices. And the way we've done it is through an innovative new feature that we call Adobe Device Central. I was in Japan a few years ago and uh, we were working with a large operator who wanted to establish a significant amount of content on their devices. And they literally had hundreds of these devices on which they, had, they wanted this content to work. And they would have an individual test every single piece of content that they wanted on every device. They then have individuals run up and down the elevator to investigate what that content looked like when you didn't have network. They would then make sure that the battery died to make sure we also were able to show them what that content looked like in low battery situations. And we said that that was crazy. So what Device Central really allows you to do is to emulate that content in any device that you're interested in so that you don't have to have all this running up and down the elevator. And what you see here is through Device Central, what a creative individual can do is to make sure that the content that they are looking at works exactly the same, taking into account screen characteristics, taking into account battery life, taking into account network bandwidth. And you know, I'm really pleased to say, as you can see from that, we're also pleased to be liberating SpongeBob. You know, my kids, I know, are certainly happy. Thanks, Anu. So that's what we're trying to do with the ease of development. The third area, and the most important area that we're also working on, is really trying to enable creative professionals to be able to create once and publish anywhere. And to achieve this reality, we really need to provide a consistent and open standard that works across networks, that works across browsers, that works across devices. We are far from the only player that sees the opportunity to create this create once, publish everywhere paradigm that I've been talking about. A joint industry initiative that has been created with Adobe as one of the sponsors is focused on trying to make sure that we can provide through what we call the open screen platform an environment that enables people to create once and publish anywhere. It's a broad coalition of technology partners, content, created, content creators, operators, as well as handset manufacturers that allows us create content once and publish it on your PC, in your living room, on your mobile device, and on your set-top box. And all of the partners are working collaboratively in the Open Screen project to achieve this consistency that I talked about. We're very fortunate in that we have partners who are providing the hardware. Partners like ARM and Intel and Marvel who provide the chipset and want us to work with them so that we can optimize the video codecs, for example, on their devices and chipsets. We have a number of handset manufacturers, the world's leaders, leading handset OEMs, including Nokia and Samsung and LG and Sony Ericsson and Toshiba and Motorola, working to make sure that they can provide flash in a consistent way on these chips, on, on their handsets. We have content operators like NTT Docomo and Chungwa Telecom and Verizon who have also signed on into this initiative. And frankly, finally, we have all the content providers, people like BBC, people like NBC Universal, who have the content that consumers want, who also see the same vision that we see. We are really excited about the prospects of what Open Screen Initiative can do for the industry and the community. So the goal, as I said, was to make sure that this broad coalition allows the right ones publish everywhere opportunity. We are today shipping Flash on more mobile PCs, on mobile, mobile devices than we are on PCs. 
we ship over 800 million devices with flash on it. And we expect that number to cross a billion devices. By making these technologies more broadly available, by making it a consistent environment, we hope that we can create the next generation of innovation. And we hope that each one of you will join us in creating that innovation. Because if we do that together as an industry, everybody wins. We create a consistent set of environments that works both within the browser on these devices as well as outside the browser. The carriers, the handset manufacturers, the developers, and the creative professionals all win. But most important of all, we think that the consumers win. And what excites us about this opportunity is that the ultimate winner is each one of us as a consumer. Because then we can revolutionize how they engage with ideas and information across any screen that they're interested in working with. I started off by saying something is happening here. We are seeing the second revolution in mobile. We saw the voice revolution, and now we are experiencing the data, the services, the application, and the content revolution. It's very parallel to the development that we saw with the development of the internet. And consumers can clearly see over the wall and are demanding more and are waiting for us as an industry to make that happen. And we are looking forward as one of the companies in this industry to making this happen. Thank you.